I uh, thank everybody for coming here today. I had the opportunity to spend four days with my wife and with my children in the great north woods of Wisconsin. Uh, we did a little bit of fishing, a little boating, and a lot of relaxing. And during that time, we discussed my future and the future of the city of Sheboygan. And I am happy to say I am more resolute than ever to remain the mayor of this great city. And to continue to continue to move this city forward. I'd like to thank I would like to thank all of my supporters. I'd like to thank all of my supporters for coming here today. It's called democracy. It's the right to assemble. It's the right to the democratic process. I would also like to thank those who do not support me because they also have the right to assemble and the right to be heard. But I must say, I appreciate those who support me a bit more than the others. I think it's time that we put this issue to bed and that we move forward as a city. We've accomplished a lot in the last two years. And we've done it, not as me, Bob Ryan, the mayor, but as the mayor, the common council, and the citizens of Sheboygan. We've done a lot of good things for us today. Thank you. Just to uh, name a couple things that we've done since my first full term in mayor was 2010. In 2010, we ran 3.7% below our budgeted expenses, or $3.1 million below expenses, or 1.3, excuse me. Our cash and investments improved by 12.9%, 12.9% or $6.8 million in the city of Sheboygan. Our debt was reduced by 10.3%. or $7.7 million. Our overall fund balance has improved in 2010 by 16.8% or $4.4 million. And our general fund undesignated balance improved by 47%, our undesignated balance, or $1.8 million. This was 2010, the first year of my budget. In spite of the economic hardships that we face in the city, we're moving forward when it comes to building a tax base for the future. We've recently gotten our latest bond rating by S&P Standard & Poor's for 2011 of a double A. And one of the reasons why they gave us a double A was because of our improving city balances and because of our business-oriented administration that is looking to build the tax base in the city and build the city for the future. I'm saying that we need to do this together. It's time for the mayor's office and the aldermen to come back together to put this to bed and to move the city forward. Agreed. Agreed. I have stated I have stated in the past, and we have, the, we have the right to be heard there too, but I'd appreciate it if you'd be heard after I'm finished. I've stated in the past that if I am to drink alcohol while in office, I will immediately and voluntarily resign this office. I stand by that. I have also held out an olive branch to several aldermen, and I hope other aldermen will take me up on this, that if there is any, any hint of me consuming alcohol in the future, I will voluntarily take any sobriety test administered by a medical doctor, any time. 
I have not had a drink in 37 days today. That's, that's, that's nothing to clap about. 37 days is nothing. You can clap for me at 37 months. An hour at a time. And if I live that long, 37 years. I have no intention of doing anything but taking care of my family, taking care of myself, taking care of our city. But I can't do it alone. I also need the Common Council to come together with me once again. We've accomplished a lot. We have accomplished a lot in this city. And we will accomplish a heck of a lot more in the future. We have some rather we have some large, put it that way, development projects in the works. Things that can create over a thousand new jobs in this city in the next year. We need those. Right. Jobs, jobs are our number one goal in this city. With jobs, people make money. We need people living downtown. We need professional people back moving downtown rather than living out in the suburbs of the city. That's the only way we'll develop our tax base. Schnauzer. In order to do that, we have to have a stable administration that's moving toward the future. And I aim to do that with the help, with the help of our aldermen that we come back together. I'm holding out an olive branch to the Common Council that we can come back together and we can move this city forward. I'll take a few questions. So you're saying that we wanted them to stop the recall effort and to stop moving forward with the attorney process? Uh, the Council has nothing to do with the recall effort as far as I'm concerned. That's the citizens to sign that. Uh, if the recall effort was to move forward, that is a part of a democratic process. I'm not opposed to that. Now, Mayor, you talk about putting this process to bed, whereas the aldermen right now are also working for the same goal but at a different method, I guess. What's your take on the meeting tomorrow night? Um, my take on the meeting tomorrow night is uh, if there will be a vote one way or the other. Do you, do you think you can help the city by making a decision to resign, or do you think you're helping the city by staying? I'm helping the city by staying because I look at who is going to take my place. What will happen in a recall election? I will uh, obviously run as a candidate if there are enough sig uh, enough signatures for a recall. Um, I ran my campaign on my own last time, myself and my wife. We ran the campaign. I'm experienced now. I know how to run a campaign, so I definitely will put up a, a good one in a recall election. Get the help you need, and then come back. I'm getting the help I need every day getting the help I need uh, through an IOP program that I attend three days a week. I have myself a sponsor in the AA program for the first time in my life. Somebody to hold myself accountable. Uh, somebody to hold my feet to the fire to do the right thing. I have the support of my family. I have my wife. I have my children. I have my mother. I have my brothers and sisters. Um, I, uh, I work, on, I, I work on my sobriety every day. To quit is not going to help me stay sober. That is for sure. Mayor, you say you're staying in office will be uh, beneficial. Is there anybody else who would like to ask a question here? If we're I think I'm, to be. I'm going to ask a question. In terms of the two processes going forward, uh, and the legal action against you, which would be cheapest for taxpayers here in your opinion? Um, obviously, a recall election would be the cheapest because with a recall election, uh, it could be held with our uh, with our primary coming up in February in the city, and it wouldn't cost taxpayers anything. That would be obviously the cheapest, um, and it's it is the it is part of the democratic process, which uh, is a heck of a lot different than um, somebody taking a legal action. Uh, number one, that is untried, unproven. There's no case law for it. It's never been done, sir. Mayor, you said you're. I get business done every day. Today I uh, uh, I was not even working today. I was driving from uh, the Great North Woods back into the city, picked up my dry cleaning and ran into a, uh, a business owner that uh, wants to take the property next to his business 
and sell it to the adjoining business that we that, that then they can sell some outlaws to put more businesses up. Um, I can I can accomplish this. You know this this right here. Uh, this is very serious business, but I consider this a sideshow. This is a sideshow. Is is what's going on right now. Uh, the real business is the business of the city, and what we need to do to keep to keep the city moving forward. Sir, are you calling your colleagues that are asking you to step down a sideshow? No, I am calling. I I'm not calling the colleagues a sideshow. I am calling. My primary job is to move the city forward. Uh, the things that happen uh, with my attorney um, and with uh, with some people that want me to step aside. Uh, that is not my primary job. My prior, primary job is administering the, the business of the city of Sheboygan. If this is a sideshow, then why did you call this news conference when you said in the past that you have no intention to resign? Next question. Okay. Are there any further questions? How do you deal with the image problem that you have with coming here? I have had an image problem, um, you know, basically uh, uh, since when I was in business, when I, when I, I am not the perfect role model. Um, I try to be a better person every day of my life. Um, I am who I am. I have my faults. But I can do a heck of a lot of good for this city, and that's what I am to do in the future. Thank you.